Hello, this is Robbie Antonessi, the creator of the Zirko language, and this is going to be our first tutorial on basic translation from English into Zirko-ready writing. Now, Zirka is special in that any language can technically be translated into Zirka. Um, it can just only be translated back into that language, uh, unless you translate it back and then translate it into another language from there. Um, and that's because it uses whatever language you're using's pronunciation rather than the actual words and phrases itself. And once you've pronounced the sentences that you want to write, you then have to uh, put it into the grammar of the language. Now, Zirka is mostly for adding depth to, to things like, uh, I don't know, if you want to have like a secret ancient language in your role-playing campaign or something like that. Basically, if you wanted to, you could just use the Zirka alphabet and mask an English sentence. But I personally believe that if you use the grammar, it's just a bit more fun. It adds some more mystique and it adds, uh, well, the ability to read it aloud, um, which I think can be pretty fun sometimes. I'm not going to go over uh, actually writing the Zirka language in this tutorial, just translating a basic English phrase or sentence into something that can then be used with the Zirka alphabet. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we'll begin with this. True facts about your neighborhood. Surely you don't really care. Um, this is more, I guess, of a headline than anything mostly nonsensical. I mostly picked out some words that were, in general, a little bit more difficult or not as obvious to translate into intermediate language. Um, yeah, something that's a little bit trickier. Things like the double vowels and uh, this A nonsense um, that you see in English sometimes. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the stages, and if you get good at Zirka, you don't have to go through each stage uh, on paper like we're going to do here, but uh, we're going to do it here just for the sake of clarity so you can see where, uh, where we've gone to. So we're going to start with the base, we're going to move to a regular pronunciation, just full on pronouncing the letters of the words and then we're going to Zirkaize it, and then we're going to apply the Zirka grammar into a proper Zirka uh, phrase that you could then write using the alphabet. Um, although once you've Zirkaized it, you could technically uh, throw that right into a right into the Zirka characters. Um, you just won't have the authenticity, I'll say, of the of the full translation. So. Let's get started on the pronunciation. So here's another good thing about Zirka. Everyone pronounces their words a little bit differently. Um, and in Zirka, that's accounted for by claiming different dialects. So this is just my pronunciation. This is how I uh, pronounce and interpret the pronunciations of these words. Yours might be different, although in some of these cases, there are some basic rules of thumb uh, that I'll point out once we get there. So, start off with true. Um, I would pronounce that true, like T-R-O-O. -O. Um, next, we have facts. Uh, I don't typically pronounce the T in facts, um, so I would write F-A-C-K-S, facts. Um, you might pronounce the T more, in which case yours might have a T in it, but I don't, so facts. <laughs> About. Now here comes the first truly difficult uh, double letter, the ow sound. Um, there are different ways of writing uh, or pronouncing OU depending on the word. Um, I couldn't think of any off the top of my head at the moment, but uh, in this case it's the O sound, ow, about. So I would pronounce this as 
A-B-O-W-T. Uh, because in Zerka, you, vowels don't transition smoothly. If you were to pronounce this word in Zerka pronunciation, it would be abo ut, basically. Um, so you want to have that smooth ow sound, and OW gives you approximately that. Um, your. Here's another. Oh, <laughs> right in front of me. OU. Um, ow versus uo. <laughs> About your. To me, that sounds like your. Like, uh, uh, stories of your Christmas songs, whatever. Next we have neighborhood. Uh, so we'll start off with nay right off the bat. That simply sounds like nay. Nay. Burr. Hood. I'm gonna keep the double O here and here because. Uh, Double O essentially translates into the U in Zirka, uh, the U sound. Um, put the colon here, and then surely, sure, S H U R L Y, surely. Um, this U, the ER, still has an U sound, so. That's why I picked the U there. Now U, um, yet another different OU sound. Uh, this one is simply U, a long O. Um, don't. So in Zirka there is no, there are no contractions. So this would be split out into do not. Um, do not. So, not uh, sounds like a w, ah, not. That's why I'm doing that there. Next is really. You have an e a, which sounds like e, a long e, so r e e l y. And finally, care. English has these uh, words that hardens the vowel when there's an E on the end of it. Unfortunately, that doesn't exactly work with Zirka. There's no need for this E. So I'm going to take the pronunciation care and spell it K-A-Y-R. K because there's no C in Zirka uh, and it has a hard C sound. So here we have our pronunciation. basic broken down pronunciation of this phrase. True facts about your neighborhood. Surely you do not really care. So we're going to take this and zirkaize it. Like turn it a little bit more into zirka. Um, take out these double O's and this C here. Mostly there are going to be other small tweaks that you can then use the alphabet to turn into. So now we're going to take this, and this is probably the easiest part once it's pronounced. You just take that and interpret it into uh, Zerka-ready uh, letters only. So true translates to T-R-U, true facts, because the U has the U sound. Now facts, um, in my case I'm going to stick with the pronunciation facts. Um, and that simply uh, shortens to F-A-K-S because there's no C. About, uh, there's not really, like if you wanted to, you could enunciate the ow sound. But in my case, I'm perfectly fine with a boat. Uh, it's, I don't know, kind of accented, but I would spell it a B O T about um, your uh, like I said with care up here um, there isn't really an E at the end of these things 
and O already has an O sound. Um, so I would spell this your. Uh, and then neighborhood. Neighborhood is almost already ready, except for the double O. So this would turn into neighborhood. The U, because of the O sound. And I didn't really explain this. I chose an E here. You could use an O if you pronounce it neighborhood, but I pronounce it neighborhood. Um, and that sounds to me more like an E. But it's up to you, really. Um, surely, here we're going to get into some stuff. Uh, typically, when something ends with an L-Y or an I sound, um, or an E sound, I've started turning that into a... Uh, uh, simply turning that into an I. So S-H-U-R-L-I. But, but, this is a matter of your opinion. Um, there is a Zirka letter L-Y. So you can keep this as a Y if you want. Um, and that would translate into uh, the, the L-Y combination letter. Frankly, I started using it because I forgot about the L-Y letter. <laughs> um, L-Y only ever happens at the end of sentences, so maybe I'll start using it again. Um, who knows? Um, U, that simply turns into Y-U, and then do not, do, uh, I've been dropping the W and the AH because it already sounds like an AH sound, which is A, N-A-T, really. Um, I just resolved now that I'm going to start using OY again. Uh, um, but the double E sound turns into, as I said before, our I, L-Y, really. Um, and then care. Care doesn't change. Uh, care is already as it is, because there is no A sound by itself, um, so it does need the Y to modify it. Now, unfortunately, that makes for some awkward pronunciation. In this case, this would be uh, Buchus, <laughs> um, if you were to pronounce the Zirka at the end, but it's, it's all right. It's all right. Next, we're going to take this and apply some Zirka grammar to this phrase, I guess, um, and uh, You'll see how that works. Uh, it's going to transform a little bit, um, but it'll still be understandable. Okay, now we're going to apply the grammar. Um, as I said before, if you wanted to, you could take this Zirkaized sentence and throw it into the alphabet and have something that you can use. But, like I said earlier also, uh, the grammar makes it more fun, in my opinion. Um, so, here we go. Uh, true. True remains the same. Facts. Uh, this is fact plural. Um, so uh, the uh, Zirka grammar says that plurals, no matter what the word, ends with es instead of s. So f a k e s. Um, next we have about. About doesn't change. Boat. Um, your neighborhood. Zirka grammar states that possession is indicated by of, by a definite noun and of the possessor. So this turns into the neighborhood of you. Um, because there are no possessive uh, pronouns, your doesn't exist in Zirka. <laughs> there is of you. Um, so, uh, and, oops, not O-V, U-V, of you. 
and that's just how I pronounced of. Um, the word of, I don't pronounce it O-F. I don't know of anyone who pronounces it off, um, unless you have a, an accent. Now that I think about it, I have heard people with accents pronounce of, off. Um, but for me, I'm a lazy American and I pronounce it of. <laughs> So your neighborhood becomes the neighborhood of you. Um, moving on. Uh, surely doesn't change. Surely you do not. And I guess this last part is the same. The only And uh, with any luck, I will uh, put a uh, put an image of the finished Zirka product and its pronunciation um, right about here on the screen, uh, <laughs> just to have an image of it so you can see what the final product looks like. The image comes from uh, the test page for. Uh, the Zirka language plugin, which you can download and uh, install on your HTML website um, whenever you'd like. Uh, it simply uses JavaScript, um, JavaScript and some SVG images, so it'll only work on uh, modern browsers. It's only guaranteed to work on modern browsers. So if you're more interested in the Zirka language, check out the Zirka website at, uh, it's currently at zirka-language.tumblr.com and you can also download the plugin there and learn all of the rest of the Zirka grammar uh, from the about page. Just check it out. Uh, it also has an updates page. The main page that you land on has all of the updates and everything that you need to know about anything new that comes to Zirka. So I hope that uh, if you have any questions, you'll take the time to ask. Um, otherwise, happy, happy writing. <laughs> I've been Robbie Antonessi, and I hope you have a great day.